A blessed day to everyone. My name is Chris and I'm going to present to you a video tutorial on how to construct a histogram or a line graph or any other appropriate graph from a given table, specifically from a step or group frequency distribution in Excel. In descriptive statistics, a histogram or a line graph or any graph summarizes a big set of data for easy interpretation. A histogram or a line graph is appropriate for tables or step or group frequency distribution with numerical intervals as categories. A given table or group frequency distribution will be constructed in Excel after encoding or a table in Excel. Example, I like to use age of respondents, which is a group frequency distribution, and Excel will produce a histogram or line graph for this. Click Insert tab. After clicking Insert tab, In the group of charts or charts group, we can select column, line, pie, bar, area, scatter, or other graphs or other charts. Here, a column chart may be selected. After this, you'll be provided with a drop-down window for us to choose to the column. 3D column, cylinder, cone, pyramid, and other chart types. Select one of them. For example, under 2D column, the clustered column may be clicked. After clicking the clustered column, you'll be provided with a bar graph. Replace or delete the frequency word from the overall title of the graph. After this, at the side, right side of the bars, these words are not needed, so delete these words. Then, from the chart layouts, select a layout that is usually used in researches. Particularly, we may select the eighth chart layout. So we have three here. After clicking the arrow down, another three will be presented. Clicking again the arrow down, the seventh, eighth, and ninth layout will be presented. Click on the eighth layout. Because in clicking, the eighth layout, a layout that is usually used in researches, is presented. Here, the graph has the overall title, age of respondents, and the bar should have no gaps. Along the horizontal axis, you have to change the words to title of the horizontal axis, which is is the title of the categories. This is age in years. Next is to replace the title of the vertical axis with frequency. And we have the histogram produced in Excel out of the group frequency distribution. On the chart or the graph, right click and click change chart type. If you want to choose a line graph, click on this line chart type, OK, and a line chart or line graph is provided 
that is the line graph of the step distribution given. However, we can have the labels written in the graph. Right click on any of the lines, add data labels. And you'll be provided, provided with the frequencies of the points. So another in the chart area, right click and change chart type. Okay. And you have the intervals as the labels of the age per of the bars of the histogram. So that is how a histogram, a line graph, or any appropriate graph is produced in Excel. Have a good day and God bless everyone. To God be the highest glory.